Hey, this is Tim, a solution engineer at Okta. And today I want to show you how to use account federation together with the Okta AWS CLI. The first step is to install the Okta AWS CLI. On the Mac, you can use pru install Okta minus AWS minus CLI. On the GitHub page, you can also find some information on how to install this on other operating systems. Before I sign in, I want to show you that I don't have any AWS credentials. So if I use AWS as free LS, you can see there is no credential and no way to authenticate the user. To sign in with the CLI, it's very easy. You type in Okta minus AWS minus CLI, and then you need two parameters. One is the uh, Okta org domain. So it's minus minus org minus domain minus logicloud.okta.com. And the next parameter is an OIDC client ID. How to get that, I will show you in the next step. So it's OIDC minus client minus ID. And I paste it here. To automatically store the credentials in the um, local files, I use the parameter minus set. Enter. And now I'm be prompted to open this URL to authenticate the user. You can also provide additional parameter minus B to automatically open your browser. So I copy and paste this parameter here. Next. And I'm forced to sign in and authenticate with my user. So this is completely up to you how you configure the authentication policies. So I use my touch ID to sign in. Device is activated. And back at the console, you can see that the user has two different roles he can assume. One is for the power user access, the other one for the few only access. I select the power user access. You can see that the CLI automatically stored the credentials in the, the local file, and it also updated the default profile. So now I can use AWS as free LS, and you can see this time I have access to this. How is this configured? Go to the Okta admin dashboard, go under applications, applications. I assume that you have already an AWS account federation. If not, you can go to Pros app catalog, you can search for AWS account federation, and then you can click on add integration and follow all the steps. When you've done that, there's also an additional application that you must create. And to do so, you must go to create app integration. You must select OADC and then native application. On the next step, you must select the device authorization and the token exchange. And you must allow the access to exactly the same user as for the AWS Account Federation app. I already did it. So let's go back. This one is my Account Federation app. And here you can see that I have the exact same grant type. So the authorization code is per default and additionally the device authorization and the token exchange. Additionally, you must also provide some scopes. So when you click to Okta API scopes, there's one called Okta apps read. If you don't grant it, there will be a message in the CLI that tells you that there is some, some limitations if you don't enable it here. The next step is by using the client ID that we have under the Trendville tab. So this is the client ID and you must use this client ID and go to the AWS Account Federation app and make them side to side. You go under sign on, you click on edit. And down here, there is a field called the allow web SSO client. And you have to copy and paste the client ID from our OEDC app over here and then click the save button. As I said, it's very important that under assignment, you assign exactly the same users because otherwise you, you will run into some issues. The best approach is to use groups. So you can see that I use two different groups in my example. 
Next, you must also make sure that they have the same authentication policies. So when you go on the sign-on tab, you scroll down, you can see that I use the same authentication policy here. You could also use different authentication policies, but then you must make sure they are exactly the same. And that's basically it. If you don't want to use the CLI, you can also go to the Okta dashboard. And from the Okta dashboard, there's an application, AWS Account Federation. If you click on this one, you can see that I also being forced to authenticate myself again. And here I can select the two different roles that I want to assume, the same like the ones that were shown in the CLI. Thanks for listening. If you have any more questions or feedback, please contact me at tim.lotter at okta.com.